Optimization is very useful because it increases the frame rates within your levels and it also reduces the effectiveness of wall hacks. Type these two commands into the console and you'll be able to see what is rendered in the level. Here is an optimized level. As you can see, things disappear when they go behind walls. This means that the computer is cutting out all the stuff it doesn't need to render and that increases frame rates. And this is what happens if you set viz to none. As you can see, the entire level is rendered at all times and it will slow down people's computers far more than an optimised level will. I recommend knowing quite a bit about the hammer editor before you attempt to optimise your own level. You must make your levels following the grid, normally to a 32 or 64 unit scale, and your map must be clean and tidy. By this I mean you can't have overlapping textures and messy bits, and it's just much better if you keep it nice and tidy. Download the example map in the description of this video to see what I mean. It will follow the grid and it will look uncluttered in the grid view. In order for this to be effective you need to set viz to fast or normal. I recommend fast for playtesting because it takes less time to render, but on your final version of your map set it to normal because this will increase the frame rates as much as possible. When you're compiling your map it may get stuck on the portal flow section. This is when your computer is working out what is visible from which angle. Although it does a good job with it set to normal, it doesn't do as good a job as you can do if you optimise it yourself. I'm going to show you a couple of ways of increasing your frame rates in your levels. Firstly, the hint texture. It's quite hard to explain what the hint texture does, but think of it as a wall. If you can see it, then it will show you everything behind it. If you can't see it, then it hides everything behind it. Here's a demonstration. Imagine that this is an above view of a corridor and the green things are barrels. If viz is set to normal, it will make hint nodes here. Here's the player. When he's standing here, it won't draw these barrels. They will be invisible. However, when he walks into the middle bit of the corridor, he'll be able to see the far hint node and therefore the things behind it. If he walks into the first bit again, then the barrels will disappear again. It doesn't show it in this demonstration because I didn't bother to draw it, but it does. If you place the hint blocks in yourself, then you can do a much better job of it. I like to place diagonal ones in. This blue line doesn't really exist, but it shows the point where if the player passes it, he'll be able to see the hint block, and it'll stop hiding the things it was hiding before. We can optimise it further by adding further hint blocks in throughout the level. This one will hide the last three barrels in this level. However, once again, once you pass the invisible line, where you can now see the hint block again, it will show the barrels again. Moving away will hide them again, but I haven't got an animation for that either. Here is an in-game example of me passing the invisible line. Making a hint block is really easy. You search the texture list for skip. You use this texture to make a block where the hint is going to be. You can then use the clipping tool to cut it into the shape you want it to be. Once you're happy with it, press enter and then click on the toggle texture application tool. Browse for the hint texture. Apply it to the face you want the hint texture to be on. And that's it, it will now work. Area Portal is a very powerful optimization technique thing. If placed in a doorway or window, it will calculate exactly what can be seen on the other side. So as you move round, what you can see will change as well. It's a very, very good way of optimizing your level. Although apparently if you overuse it, it can slow down your computer. A lot of people have difficulty getting this to work. It will work as long as the two sides of the portal flow object are completely separate. In other words, the only way to get from one side to the other is either through a wall or through the area portal. For instance, if you have a house with two doors and three windows, you've got to place an area portal in each of those openings. There can't be any gaps either. It has got to be totally sealed by the area portal block. Once again, it's very easy to make. You search for the area portal texture, you make a block with that texture, then you select it and press Control T. Choose Funk area portal. 
There's also Funk Area Portal Window, which means it'll fade out after a certain distance. This is good if you have a house in the middle of a field or something and you don't want to be able to look into the windows unless you're near to it. But I'm just going to stick with Area Portal for now. Here's what it's like without Area Portal. And here's what it's like with Area Portal. As you can see, it's much better. And there you go. Hopefully this has helped you learn about optimization. Have fun and watch out for trees. Oh.